Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Madison and today's video I'm going to do my 2023 makeup trend predictions. I've seen a lot of people do these types of videos either on TikTok or here on YouTube and so I wanted to throw in my little predictions, what I'm guessing will be trendy this year. As always, these are just trends. You don't have to follow trends. You can do your makeup however you want. I will still continue to do my makeup however I want, but I thought it would be fun just to kind of make some predictions and we'll see at the end of the year if we were right, if things went the way I think. So yeah, let's just start with the makeup. I got these cutie little clips um, as like a free gift with something I ordered and I love them. Taking my Embroilise Lay cream concentrate. I didn't have the cap on and it just spilled everywhere. That's fine. Uh, I really like, this is like my favorite pre-makeup moisturizer just because it's like pretty thick but it doesn't leave any kind of like pilling or anything that you don't want mixing with your makeup. So I think we're going to start with complexion first and kind of my thoughts on complexion are going to be that we're keeping it still a little light like uh this past year we've seen a lot of tinted moisturizers a lot of just like concealer everywhere and i do think that's going to continue i think we're going to see less foundation a little bit more concealer but overall the skin is still going to look like skin and i think we're still going to keep it we're pretty dewy i'm going to be using my shiseido synchro skin radiant lifting foundation i haven't used this in a minute but I remember it being really good. This is in the shade 150 Lace, by the way. Hopefully it matches me. I haven't used it in so long. And my mirror is right here, just so you guys know. I'm going to be using it with this e.l.f. Kabuki brush. If you're on TikTok and you've been influenced by Alex Earl, like so many of us have been, you will definitely recognize the like using the kabuki brush i tried to get the one she has it's the tarte kabuki brush but that is sold out everywhere so this is just like putting on a light layer of this foundation which this foundation is so nice let me zoom you guys in this foundation is literally perfecting my skin and i put the smallest amount and with this big brush wow why don't i wear this more do you guys see that it just like perfected but it's I still look like it's just my skin here. Okay, yeah, this is exactly what I was envisioning for 2023. You know, using your nicer kind of fuller coverage foundations, but really shearing them out and then using your concealer for anything that you need brightening or anything. And going along with the concealer, I'm gonna say correctors and like brighteners are gonna be a big thing. Rare Beauty just came out with their brightener and people are raving about it. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury um, corrector, which is different. It's not a brightener. It's just gonna correct those dark circles. But I think we're moving back into the super bright under eyes. A lot of these trends that I like am kind of predicting is following very much like a little bit of a more glowy, less cakey 2016 vibe. Uh, especially like if you were here on YouTube in 2016, we're gonna see more makeup overall this year. And I'm not mad about it. I love makeup. So I definitely think we're gonna be using concealer to kind of brighten in a lot of places. And we're really gonna be going in with those brightening powders. That was the Too Faced uh, Born This Way Ethereal Light. This is their new concealer. That's another kind of thing I'm predicting this year is that I don't, I think Too Faced is going to really have a big comeback. Not to say like the brand hasn't been doing anything because they have been releasing products, but back in like the 2016 days, Too Faced, Urban Decay, all of that was like the big brands. And now more so it's like Rare Beauty, Makeup Boy Mario, Charlotte Tilbury, things like that. But I think we're really going to see a little bit of a comeback and a little bit more like trendy things coming from Too Faced and I'm excited about it. Like their chocolate bar palettes, they had me in a chokehold back then. That concealer is really, really nice. It just kind of, it gives you a lighter kind of glow. It really does have that like etherealness to it. But yeah, using that to kind of perfect anything that the foundation didn't get, I'm having a really good skin day, which that always helps. And we are going to brighten up the under eye even more in a little bit, but let's move on to bronzer and blush. I think we're gonna stick with the cream bronzer, the liquid bronzer, blush, highlight. It's just gonna be more. We're gonna be layering the powder on top if we haven't already, things like that. 
So I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand just because it has been a minute and to be honest these are there's like not a day that goes by that these are not trending somewhere on the internet. So I'm going to be putting that. This one kind of works as a contour as well which is why I really like it but you have to find like the right shade for you. All right I'm going to be using that same rare beauty blush just brush just because I really like how it taps everything out. I know a lot of people don't like the Charlotte Tilbury contour wands because they say the packaging is messy, which it is, but a lot of people I see lately are saying, oh, like the product is filled with air and there's not a lot in it. They're giving you the amount that it says on the packaging. Just because the tube isn't completely full, which there is a reason for that, it's so you can push out the product without it exploding and also you can take it on an airplane without it exploding. If it was full to the brim, then it would definitely explode with any kind of pressure. But they are giving you the amount that they state on the packaging. So I've seen a lot of people say that and I'm just like not, I'm not getting that. All right, so there's my contour, you know, nice and glowy, but not too much. We are gonna add on top of that. And then for blush, I think we're still gonna be going in with a lot of blush. I think maybe we might move from these brighter pinks to a little bit more neutral. I still, I do think pink is gonna be the color of this year. Uh, I believe the Pantone color of the year is like Viva Magenta or something like that, but I'm definitely seeing a lot of pink items coming out and I'm seeing a lot of celebrities using pink blushes, things like that. But I think we are gonna be going a little bit less bright on the blush. It's gonna be a little bit more balanced. Kind of finding a middle ground between like 2016 like nude, warm, peachy blushes to now where it's a little bit more pink, it's a little bit more soft, but still heavy on the blush. So I'm gonna be using the Rare Beauty in the shade Bliss. And with the Rare Beauty blushes, with these like lighter shades, you can definitely go in a little bit more. If you do have these, then you know they're kind of one of those products where you have to be a little bit more sparing with it. But with the more nudie shades, nudie cutie shades, you can definitely apply a little bit more. Obviously, I think Rare Beauty is going to continue to kind of run the makeup day. I think a lot of people are just really gravitating towards that brand. I don't know if it's because it's a celebrity celebrity brand or because if it's, it's a little bit more of a very trendy brand. Like, they came out in the height of, like, the trends we're seeing right now. So they kind of you know, came right off the bat with like the cream bronzers, the cream blushes, things like that. And I think that's just meant to need a roll. That is so pretty. I love that blush so much that again, that's the shade Bliss. If you don't have that one, it's amazing. So then we're gonna set with powder. Like I said, I'm thinking bright. Bright under eyes. I think in the last few years, we've been doing a little bit more matching to our skin color concealer, not the stark under eye, but I definitely think we're going, I think we're going back to that a little bit. I'm going to be using my Cherry Blossom Huda Beauty powder. It's a like bright pink, not bright pink, like a light pink shade. And I'm going to be putting that all over the eyes. By the way, I did my own lash extensions at home and I can definitely do a video if you guys are interested. It took me like less than 10 minutes. And I think they look pretty good. So yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to see more of the powder puff. If you haven't already been seeing a lot of people using powder puffs for their powders, which I love. I think this is my favorite way to use powder. We're definitely going to go in with more powder than we've seen in the past year with like the whole like natural dewy. But we're going to add in that luminosity still later. So it's... Like I said, I think my whole envision is like 2016 and 2022 getting married and kind of something coming out with that. And it's going to be a girl because it's pink. What did I just say? Like they're going to have a baby? If you got it, you got it. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's really set. And to go in further, I thought I would use this product just because I know the brand recently came out with like another release of this. These are the Jaclyn Hill Brightening and Setting Palettes. They look like this. Um, and she just came out with individuals of all the shades and then she added some shades. And I figured since she just released them, we would kind of use them. They have not been my favorite in the past, but I don't know if I've ever given them a good enough shot. So I'm going to take, I think, like this shade and this shade, the top two, which is a lot brighter than I would usually do my under eye. But like I said, I think we're going back to that. And I'm just going to be using a little brush. 
looks pretty let me look in the mirror these powders are like the t a touch dry for me but if you just use a little bit if you use it more as a finishing powder than like your overall powder i think you're safe yeah they are a little bit dry i'm gonna take that really white shade and just put it right here and see how that just kind of like lifted everything oh i got some uh so yeah i'm definitely seeing bright now we are gonna go in because like i said i think more makeup is more this year so we are gonna go ahead and set all the bronzer all the blush everything with powder i'm gonna be using the stop barnes sculpting and contouring palette this is just a really good bronzing palette it has all these different shades in it and it's really accessible i bring it with me everywhere i go and i'm just gonna get a bronzer shade that is a little bit close to the shade i already have and we're gonna build up on that already established contour in the past year i think we've seen a lot more blush than we have bronzer but i think bronzer is definitely coming back it never really went anywhere but i think we're gonna have a little bit more even spread between bronzer and blush i'm gonna bring it kind of towards the center too not to mess up that brightening but just to make it look like there's not a harsh line between like bright and dark i also think we are going to get more into contouring i think with like kind of more of the natural makeup it was more just like putting your bronzer in your contour area and then leaving it at that but i think adding two separate shades one for contour and one for bronzing is definitely coming back we're getting into a little bit more structured of a look i believe this year i just think that's what people are going to start doing i think they're going to start missing doing some of the things that they stopped doing in the past year and it's not going to come back lately i've been doing my double chin like this where instead of like going all the way in here because that never looks good on me just like right between the ear and where the jawline starts and i feel like that adds just like a okay i think yeah we need blush I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Love is the Drug because, again, it has that kind of nudie pink on the outside and then just like a pop of the bright. So let me find a brush. This is my favorite blush brush. This is an It Cosmetics. It was a holiday one, but I'm sure they make this. Just my favorite. And I'm going to be putting my blush more so like back here. I think we're going to want to look really lifted. And just on me, that ends up being back here, opposed to the apple of the cheek. And then I'll kind of take what's left on the brush and brush kind of all over just to get that kind of like melted, melted look. All right, let's move on to eyes because I'm excited. Like I said, I'm thinking this is like a very pink year. I'm seeing a lot of like pink and gold. We're going to finish up the face like afterwards, but... I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. I just think this is a really, really nice palette. It's a little washed out on here. But this is a really good, like, beginner. If you're not into, like, pink colors or anything, this is a good place to start. So I'm going to take kind of the lighter pink matte shade. And then I'm just going to go in my crease. Something I predict for eyes a trend is... I think we're going to be doing more eye makeup, but it's going to be less structured than we saw in like 2016, 2017. Before, you know, you was like putting the tape and having the sharp lines and everything like that, the cut crease. I think we're just going to be a little bit more haphazard and kind of melt everything together, blend everything together. And I definitely see a lot of glitter. So I'm just running that haphazardly all over my lid, all over my crease and blending it out. These shadows basically blend themselves. And I'm going to do a little bit of on, on the under as well. So it's just like a matte mid-tone pink. Not too bright, but definitely gives that kind of like youthful look. So that's like what it looks like right now. It's just kind of blown out everywhere. And then I'm going to take the shade right here, which is kind of like the pillow talk sparkly shade. I'm going to pack that on the lid and also just kind of blend it up into that matte shade. Like I said, we're not following like a super strict guideline here. I just think we're going to have a lot of shimmer on the lids and everything's going to look really smooth and blended out. And it's going to look like we tried on our makeup, but it's not going to look like we cut the crease and all that. I think we're just going for an overall more just like glitzy, blended out look so i'm packing that on and you could even wet the brush to make it a little bit more punchy and then i'm going to take the lightest kind of like pinky champagne and i'm going to pop that in the inner corner 
as well as along the brow bone. And again, like you can even just take your finger and blend all that out. It's not going to be like super complicated. That's at least like what I'm seeing. Like I watched a Tati video the other day and her eyelid just looked so magical and pretty. And she just had this glitter kind of sprayed over the lid, but it didn't look like it was like a clear separation. It just looked like everything was happy living harmoniously together. And that's what I really like. Brows, I still think they're just going to be, I just threw a brush at you. I think they're just going to be up to you. So I'm going to go do my brows off camera. And if you're interested in a brow routine, let me know. But I'll be right back. All right, brows are on, and like I said, I do have the lash extensions. Another little trend for eyelashes, I think a lot of people are going to start just doing mascara and skipping the lashes. That probably won't be me, personally. I mean, I, I don't wear lashes a lot of the time, like when I'm just going out with my husband or something like that. I don't know. The big lash life is for me, and I've also been seeing a lot of people using lash serums. So I think like just mascara is going to be kind of back in action. We've been doing lashes for a long time now and I still think people are going to continue but I just think like overall people are going to just start taking better care of their lashes and maybe trying to maybe trying to grow them out. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Another thing for the eyes I wanted to mention and I might just like pop it on is if I can get it open. If you're struggling to find like a pink shade if you want to participate in that that is really flattering and just is so pretty. I would recommend Pink Champagne by Anastasia. You can kind of see it here, but I'll show it on my finger as well. I don't know if that's gonna work. Here's like a little swatch. It's so pretty. It's like a little rose gold with a little bit more of an icy pink. I'm gonna pop that just on the inner part of my lid and look, I don't know, I just added pizzazz. When I was in high school, and that was like back in the 2015, 2016 days, this was my shade. If you use this on over a glitter glue, stunning. And you can still get this from Anastasia. I know they discontinued a lot of their single shadows, but you can still get it, I believe. I got this one last year, so hopefully they still have them. Now we need highlighter. I think highlighter is coming back in a big way. I don't think a lot of people stopped wearing it, but I think we've seen a lot of like the liquid cream, the kind of soft like glass glow. I think we're going back into like the champagne pop days, but like I said, I think we're gonna have a little bit of a pink twist to it. So this is my favorite highlighter right now. It's Benefit Tickle and it's this gorgeous pinky gold beautifulness. Again, this is a, something that a TikToker Alex Earl she raves about and this is just gorgeous. I wore this on my wedding day. So I'm just gonna take that and I'm going in with it just because I feel like I feel like it's what's right. We need the highlighter back. We need to be blinding. So I'm gonna be putting it like everywhere. Doing that like really intense nose contour like I used to do. I've kind of always been a highlighter fan, honestly. I kind of never stopped. And then I am going to put this on my inner corner as well, just because it really complements those pink shades, because it has that, like, pink undertone with the gold, which I just think is so flattering. I think, like, pink and gold, kind of rose gold, is definitely making its comeback. And I love that, especially for, like, my fair skin girlies. I think something like this is so flattering, like the baby pinks mixed with the gold. Really, really pretty. Now, for lips, I think we're going to see, and this is kind of already started, Started. We're gonna see just liner and like either lip oils, lip treatments. I know that like the road lip treatment is really popular. I really liked the like makeup by Mario. What are these called? Plumping lip serums. That's what I have on today just to moisturize my lips before I start. But I'm gonna line with the Jaclyn Hill in the shade Faith. This is the lip liner. Sorry, I can't really do this on camera. Hold on. And I'm not gonna really fill in the middle that's something that i usually do but i think having just the line around and then filling it in with something so you could either go in with a lip oil which this is the jacqueline hill or jacqueline cosmetics i forget what it goes by now bubble drip lip oil but i'm gonna go in just to complete this look and to really feed into that kind of like pink gold that i was talking about this is a really underrated product i don't think a lot of people talk about these and they're really gorgeous so these are the I believe they're called the Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Diamonds. They look just like the lipsticks, but they're skinny and a little bit longer. This is in the shade Pillow Top Diamonds, and they have kind of like a glitter shimmer into them. You can kind of, you can kind of see. And then I'm going to put them on my lips, and it gives a pretty shimmery lip. 
with that kind of like lighter shade inside of the lip liner and it's really hydrating it feels like a lip balm there's like a touch of grittiness from the shimmer but it's nothing crazy and I think to finish off, just to just to show how kind of committed I am to the highlighter, I'm gonna take this. This is the Givenchy Prisma Libre highlighter in the shade two, eleven, eleven maybe. It's this really gorgeous like pink, and it has a little bit of sparkle in it. And I'm going to take this as my highlighter, just a little like highlighter topper almost. Put that on the apple of my cheek just to really to really send it. And then we still want to look luminous, which I think we do. I think that foundation was really good. It wasn't too matte. I'm just going to... All right. Well, my setting spray spit on me. But that is kind of everything. All right. I think I got everything across. You might watch this video and be like, yeah, I do my makeup already like this. And to that I say, you go, girl. But yeah, this is just kind of like the vibe I'm feeling. I'm feeling very, I think makeup is going to be really girly and kind of not girly, but it's just going to have like that pink essence. I think a lot of times we've been into like the more neutrals and that's never going to go out of style or anything like that. But I think like the less structured, but a little bit more heavy makeup is coming back. And I just think pink is such a pretty shade. And I think that's what a lot of people are going to start gravitating towards. They're going to start moving on from, you know, the oranges and the terracottas into more of like a pink shade. And like I said, these are all just trend predictions. Trends are just trends that's all they are they're not like rules or set in stone i believe that makeup has no rules so this is in no way saying like this is how you should do your makeup if you want to be trendy but yeah so that is it for my little 2023 makeup trend predictions i think we're gonna see a lot of celebrities doing this i've already seen you know this is very like kylie jenner um hailey bieber the kind of pink glowy skin but i think we're also adding in a little bit of 2016 beauty guru with the layers the, the pop i mean look at my cheekbones they're perfect okay so that is it for you today and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do leave me a comment or like this video and i will see you guys next time bye